this is Seth from BJJGearJunkie.com. Today with another gi review. This time it's the limited edition Keiko Rasa Blue. Uh, that's right, it comes in white and blue. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm going to skip ahead to talking about the jacket first like we always do. I'll get to the pants a little bit later. Uh, a little backstory on this particular gi model. I had this gi about two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago. I had it in white. Um, I ended up having to sell it. And the reason is because I, in my experience, Keiko it is made for tall, lanky guys, okay? If you normally wear an A3, A4, and it's because you're tall, not because you're broad chested or a little <clears throat> fat, um, Keiko is the brand for you, okay? If you are uh, somebody who wears an A2 and you're like 5'6", 5'7", 5'8", this probably is not the brand for you, okay? I would steer you more towards like, uh, like a corral or something like that, okay? For the shorter, stockier people. Um, anybody who comes in and, and, and asks my opinion on what they should get for a gi, if they're tall and lanky and normally wear A3s and A4s, I point them towards Keiko. So, just a little bit of a uh, word to the wise on, on, the, on the fit, okay? Um, let's, keep, let's continue uh, talking about the fit real quick and then we'll get into the other points of interest. But <clears throat> when I had this gi, the sleeves fit good, okay? They fit good, but the length of the gi top is what concerned me the most. Um, I normally like a shorter skirt, but this one was like pretty long. It was you know down past my like my thighs. All right, so I just didn't care for that. And the pants, um, the crotch was super baggy on them. I seriously, I, I felt like I was g'd up for my feet up. You know what I mean? So I had to uh, I had to sell it off. So let's get talking about the um, the durability. Now that we've talked about the fit a little bit. This weave is probably one of my more uh, preferred weaves. It comes soft right out of the bag, but yet it's pretty bulletproof, just kind of like the, uh, like the Atamas, okay? Pretty similar to the Atamas, but softer. Softer and a little lighter, I would say, okay? And I think this gi um, in an A3 weighs about three or four pounds total, so just a heads up. It's not like your lightweight gis. Uh, let's look at the uh, inside here. So down at the bottom here, we have a nice stitched in piece in the corner that looks really solid um, definitely no worries there across this bottom right here this is probably one of the skimpier jobs that I've seen done on the bottom in fact it doesn't really seem reinforced it's almost like they took this black piece of fabric folded it over both sides and sewed it so um, not the best but you know it's not a showstopper so um, that's the inside let's take a peek at the armpit really quick this is probably one of the beefier armpit pieces I've seen on some of the geese, so I wouldn't worry about the armpits blowing out on this model. Uh, a little bit of backstory: the owner of this gi, one of my training partners, he's had it for about a year, maybe eight months, okay, and I don't see any abnormal wear just besides, you know, color fading and, and white things turning brown, so all normal stuff. This collar is one of my favorite collars so far, okay. I believe it's foam in there. Um, but it's nice, thick, it's stiff, um, it's probably on the level of a corral, but actually probably thicker, okay? So definitely like that. So let's move into the cool factor. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool gi, uh, you know, standard blue colored gi with some black stuff on it. Um, I don't like personal preference, I like the patch up the lapel, that's just me. Whenever I get talking about design concepts, guys, that's just my personal taste. It's not knocking the gi or the manufacturer or anything like that, okay? Um, so I like this patch right in here, it's pretty cool. We've got another one on the shoulders. Um, seems a little short, but it, it, it works, it looks good. Um, I'll annotate these patches in as well in, uh, in pictures for you guys if the camera's not picking this up. There's another patch right there, Keiko. Okay, and over here we have another one, all right? Of course, you've already seen that the gi is trimmed in black, which is kind of nice, especially on the sleeves. That kind of gives it a little bit of reinforcement there. And then, of course, along the bottom, like we talked about. Let's take a peek at the back real quick. Up at the top, there's a nice uh, embroidered uh, patch here. 
Um, good real estate here. I think you could. it would be kind of sweet to line up your club patch right under this. So you kind of have a little bit of a centering when you're doing the sew job. But other than that, no seam up the middle, so that's pretty standard. All right, let's take a look at these pants. Okay. I like these pants. The pant material is kind of like that uh, uh, cotton canvas kind of uh, material. Uh, very similar to like a Corral MKM, but maybe a little bit more towards the cotton side. They're a little softer, uh, which means they're probably going to absorb a little bit more and uh, be a little bit lighter too, I would think. Um, they went with the two loop system. Um, they went with a little bit of like a hybrid. Um, it's not stretchy uh, drawstring. It's pretty close to, I would say, um, clothesline. Uh, it's probably not, but it's very similar to clothesline. Uh, one of the bad things are it, is when this, uh, when this knot comes undone, this will start to unravel. And I'm not just going to pull this apart because it's not my key. But um, I can see that being an issue because as you go to put this through, the more frayed this end gets, the harder it is, the more messy it is. Okay, just a little word of the wise. All right, the knees are somewhat reinforced. You can see the piece here is it starts the reinforcement here, and it goes all the way down to the actual bottom of the gi here. So it's not kind of one of the modern designs where you have the knee pad reinforced and then the contrast stitching. Um, but it is reinforced there. Uh, it does kind of remind me of the, the corral quite a bit. And as you know, my corrals blew out. I actually have them mounted on the wall right now as a little club memorabilia, but uh, maybe I'll rip them off the wall one day and show you how they blew up. But anyways, let's get sidetracked. There is another Cora uh, Keiko patch down here at the bottom, which is pretty sweet, makes it pop. Um, the bottom of these keys is nice, beefy, reinforced, okay? This is probably one of the best reinforced jobs on the bottom of the gi pants I've seen. The only problem with the reinforcements on the bottom is as somebody's grip hits the bottom, it sinks into that. It's real easy to keep that grip, okay? Just a word of caution. That's life, boys. That's how it is, but work a different guard, I guess. Don't work open guard. Um, so, all right. Take a peek. Recap a little bit. So, if you are a short and stumpy A2 guy like myself, you know, 5'7", 5'8", uh, 160, yes, I am losing weight, uh, don't go with Keiko. Um, I would go more like Corral, like I said. If you are A3, A4, and you get it, you, you fit those sizes because you are tall and lanky, Keiko is the brand to look into, okay? The price is about the same as all the other geese, um, so you can't go wrong there, all right? So, guys, if you like what we're doing here, please like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, all right? Thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.